Much of the story contains footage to describe the superior hiking trail before the extreme drought and the wildfires. When asked, why do I do ultra running? It keeps me staying healthy. I have to be at tip top shape through nutrition, rest and exercise. Otherwise it wouldn't be worth doing. But on a more personal level, why ultra marathons? Why all that time outside in the forest running? Since 2015, I knew my wife and I would have to go to Russia and wait out her visa. Originally, it was only supposed to be for about four months, but because of COVID and travel restrictions, it turned out to be over 10 months. About six months before going to Russia, I attempted my long time goal of running the Superior 100 Mile Ultra Marathon. For me, it seemed like the height of something that I always wanted. After doing my undergraduate in Duluth and then working in the resort industry in marketing in Lutzen, the Superior Hiking Trail has always been the most amazing thing in my life that I've found, besides my wife, of course. So for me to run some of the most beautiful sections all at once over two days is the ultimate gift that I could give to myself. At the time, it certainly doesn't feel like a gift because it's so difficult, both physically and mentally. While in Russia, I was able to find an amazing, beautiful forest area to run in and had a regular 20 to 30 mile route that I ran at least once a week, as well as some other shorter runs around the same area where I lived about five hours east of Moscow, across from a big city called Nizhny Novgorod. To be able to run in the forest, it was familiar. In fact, it felt like home. While in Russia, I guess I was home. Plus, thankfully, I could work remotely quite easily. When we did finally return after a most challenging and unknowing experience of not knowing exactly when or how my wife and I would return from Russia with her green card and we could return to our normal life. But that's a whole nother story. So the ultra running carried me through a most stressful time in my life and kept me strong, healthy and emotionally stable to make good decisions. So returning to the US, running the Superior 100 was the ultimate anchor to say, hey, we're home. Completing the Superior 100 Mile Ultra was so very hard. And after surviving this race in Russia, I feel I'm ready, ready for anything, ready to give back. You definitely don't need to be an ultra runner to enjoy being outside and getting the benefits. I encourage you to get outside, be in the parks, be among the trees, be by the waters and feel their energies and bring back those energies into your life and work.